In this video, I'm going to show you how to unblock a filter on a Samsung washing machine like this. So do you ever get your washing out of the machine after it's run and it just feels a bit like just not a bit damp or maybe just not really clean, like it's not washed properly? You don't understand why, because you've got the settings right and you put like the washing liquid in and all that sort of thing. Well, what might be happening if this is the case is the filter might be blocked and it might need to be cleared. And I'll show you how to do that on a Samsung washing machine like this. It's a relatively straightforward procedure. It's worth doing this, even if you don't have some of those issues I mentioned from time to time, just to keep it nice and clear. One of the main problems is people putting things in the washing machine with things left in the pockets. Things like hair clips and stuff just like go in there by accident. So the problem lies down here in the filter. So I'm gonna show you how to open this up, but before we do that, we just need to assemble a few basic tools. First of all, you're probably gonna need either a screwdriver or just a kitchen knife with a fairly flat end like that, as opposed to kind of a pointy one like that. And the reason we need this is because we're basically gonna put it in there and we're gonna open it up just gently. But before we do that, there's a few other things we need. When, when you do open this up, and if there is any kind of blockage on the filter, there may be some uh, water that's basically been uh, kind of like contained. So it's a good idea to have some towels ready and or maybe some kitchen roll. Last but not least, you might want some sort of container like this, like a Tupperware, something, some sort of little pot. It's fairly shallow that uh, you can drain any excess water into. So first things first, I'm actually going to put this towel down. It's actually one I was about to wash anyway. Then um, basically get your Tupperware or your tub, whatever you're going to use ready. Just push that down gently. Try not to do it too hard. You don't want to break anything. It should just release quite easily. And then you can see here, um, it's actually sort of attached, but you can just wiggle this free. Be careful, and it should come off completely. You don't have to take it off, but I find it easier if you remove it completely. You get you get more room to get in here. There's a cat here watching me film this. Do you want to go out? They never use cat flaps, do they? Go on then. Just use the door if you can't use a cat flap. Go on, hurry up, we're making a video. Right, back to business. When you've removed this panel, you'll see something like this. First thing to do is this tube, it's got like a stopper on the end. You can just pull that away from where it's being secured. Uh, it's slightly maneuverable, as you can see. What I do first is I just kind of pull, screw this off uh, anti-clockwise and a bit of pulling and it should come off. And you can see automatically, look, oh, there's water coming out and there's little bits in there. So yeah, that's, that's not a good sign. It means it's a little bit blocked. So what I do is basically try and empty as much water out as I can here. Now, depending on how much there is and the size of this tub you're using, you might have to you know, do it more than once so there's an overfill. So for example, if you have to do that, just put the thing back on temporarily. I'm gonna just pour this away. Pour that down the sink. And for round two, let's just take that off again. I'll have a little bit of patience for this job. It'll take a couple of minutes sometimes to get all this water out. You can see it's still trickling out though. So I'm going to persist with this. I'm going to just empty that again. Empty that again. This is the third lot. Now if you open this up and no water comes out, um, then you probably you're probably fine, you've probably not got to worry about your filter. We've nearly, I think we've nearly emptied that. So I'll just pour this away. Okay, what I'm going to do now is to put that back on. Just don't have to shove it all the way in just to block it. Next, I'm going to unscrew this. Now, some water may come out again, which is why I put this down. Have some kitchen roll or maybe some other towels handy in case you get a lot of water. You shouldn't get too much though, let's see. You can see there's a little bit of drips coming out of there. It's not too bad. Yeah, a bit more look. So that's why I put that down. Just a quick warning, if you're squeamish, you know, you can find there's all kinds of grime and muck. It might not be pleasant viewing. There's some bits in here. It's not too bad, but there's some bits of like, I don't know, hair and muck. I'm gonna just rinse this under a tap. Just gonna take a bit of kitchen roll and just sort of towel dry this. Got all the bits off. Sometimes you can get all kinds of gross stuff in here. Wasn't too bad this time. 
And then finally, I'm going to just try and put a bit of kitchen roll in here and just try and see if we can remove any other bits of grime or anything else that's um, got stuck in there. Okay. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to put it all back together now. I'm going to just screw that back in tightly all the way and then position it so it sort of clamps in just there. I'm going to take this and I'm going to position it. You have to make sure it's it only goes in one way. Like if you do it like that, it will get stuck. So you just rotate it until it slides in and then obviously turn it clockwise a few times to, to seal it nice and tight like that. And then it's just a question of putting this back on. So put the bottom bits in first. It should just sort of click in like that and then click shut. And hey presto, that should be done. So if you've had a problem with washing, not really washing properly, or just coming out a bit too damp, even though it's had a spin and stuff, that, that technique may just help you there.